You likely already know about vitamin K's critical contribution to blood coagulation and bone formation, but this essential fat-soluble vitamin, especially the MK4 or metaquinone 4 form, is also a necessary factor for the production of critical sex hormones throughout life, especially as we grow older. In fact, Part of vitamin K's amazingly restorative action on the bones is related directly to vitamin K's support of these essential sex hormones. Metaquinone 4, or MK4, is the most common form of vitamin K found in the tissues, and MK4 is essential for steroidogenesis, the process by which cholesterol is converted to numerous steroid hormones, including sex hormones. And it actually proceeds in a relatively simple way, as MK4 activates a metabolic enzyme called protein kinase A, and protein kinase A then increases the activity of yet another enzyme, CYP11A1, the necessary catalyst for the first step of steroidogenesis, in which cholesterol is converted to pregnenolone. And pregnenolone is, of course, the raw hormonal material for producing the essential sex hormones testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and even the stress hormone cortisol. And specific to testosterone, MK4's supportive action on protein kinase A and CYP11A1 thus leads to greatly increased cellular production of testosterone. Metaquinone 4's increase of pregnenolone is a helpful complement to vitamin K's already well-known optimization of calcium deposition in the bones, and is thus of interest to aging men and women alike, because just as the age-related decline of testosterone is one significant cause of bone frailty in older men, women obviously also experience bone loss from estrogen depletion. Vitamin K is also supportive of our metabolic master switch enzyme activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK, because vitamin K, specifically vitamin K2, improves glycolysis, or the production of metabolic energy from dietary glucose, during a well-known AMPK activator like fasting or exercise. And this is particularly relevant to vitamin K's support of testosterone, because testosterone activates AMPK-associated metabolic mechanisms to regulate glucose metabolism in skeletal muscle. Again, it is specifically the metaquinone 4 or MK4 form of vitamin K that stimulates testosterone production. Vitamin K1, which we need for optimal blood clotting, does not. MK4, like MK7 or metaquinone 7, is a form of vitamin K2. And while vitamin K1 can be minimally converted to MK4 endogenously, you should still take vitamin K as a daily supplement and ideally a vitamin K complex that gives you vitamin K1, MK7, and MK4, effectively all major forms of vitamin K. And remember that most vitamin K is still unfortunately sold as either a dry capsule or tablet without the fat it requires. So if you have one of these all too common dry vitamin K preparations, then you absolutely need to take it with some kind of dietary fat for proper activation. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.